If you thought Colorado's wide receivers were good in 2023, well, they're about to be a whole lot better. And Coach Prime is not playing around because when he chose Jason Phillips, he was like, man, I want to be special in 2024. I was like, well, who is this Jason Phillips guy? Am I the only person that don't really know much about Jason Phillips? I was like, well, I need to know a little bit more about Jason Phillips. So I went digging and I found an article that's going to help us to dig a little deeper into who Jason Phillips really is in this video. You're about to find out with me exactly why Coach Prime tapped Jason Phillips to be the wide receivers coach right after my intro. BWB, bandwagon bus, that's right. It's your man's Harry Billion. Please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can get the videos as soon as I upload it to YouTube. All right, family, I gotta go ahead and get into this video real quick so that's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. So welcome back. Who's Jason? Jason Phillips, you about to find out. Let's go. This article can be found on coloradowin.com. This article was written by Scott Proctor. Colorado football's wide receivers coach, Jason Phillips, is about his business. Well, we about to find out what that business really is. Jason Phillips has a football resume that spans more than 30 years and includes success at multiple stops. His newest challenge is in Boulder as Colorado's wide receivers coach, a role he's held at eight other college football programs. Rams. That is quite interesting. Elite production at the wide receiver position has followed Phillips and the Canadian Football League, where he coached the Hamilton Tiger Cats receivers for the last two seasons, was no different. Whenever Phillips would break down his position group's huddle after practice, he has just two words for his receivers, get paid. And I hope the buffs get paid in 2024. That was the number one thing, you know. Just make sure you're standing on your P's and Q's. Making sure you're about your business. And that means staying healthy. That means playing at an extremely high level because that's what you want to do. Be able to take care of your family. Tiger Cats wide receiver Tim White told the Coloradoan, We will get that break. And it was get paid. White is the latest wide receiver to benefit from Phillips coaching and business-like style. After an impressive career at Arizona State where White racked up over 1,300 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns over his last two seasons, 2015 to 2016 combined. He signed with the Baltimore Ravens as an undrafted free agent in 2017. White appeared in three games for the Ravens in 2018 before spending time on the practice squad of the New York Jets 2019 and New Orleans since 2019 to 2020. The former Sun Devil made the jump to the CFL in 2021, catching 56 passes for 774 yards and two touchdowns downs in his first season with the Tiger Cats, but it wasn't until Phillips joined Hamilton for the 2022 campaign that White played the best football of his life. Coach Phillips actually was the first wide receivers coach where I went over 1,000 yards, and I think it was just his ability to demand excellence and his ability to be consistent. White said, I would say that's one of his biggest things, being consistent and having those high expectations. Same thing Coach Prime always preaches. It sounds like Coach Prime got a good one in this one, guys. Same expectations. Things just like Coach Prime and does just like coach prime they're about that main thing and keeping the main thing the main things being about your business those expectations aren't just for his players Phillips has always had high expectations for himself remind you of somebody a consensus all-american wide receiver at the university of houston Phillips led the nation in receptions 108 receiving yards 1444 and receiving touchdowns 15 during the 1988 college football season that led to his selection in the 1989 nfl draft by the detroit lions where he was set a franchise rookie record with 10 receptions for 155 yards against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Phillips spent two years in Detroit before playing three seasons for the Atlanta Falcons. A three-year stint in the CFL 1995 to 1997 led to Phillips' college football coaching career, which began in 2001 at his alma mater, Houston. From there, Phillips went on to coach wide receivers at Texas State 2002, Houston twice 2003 to 2000 in 2008 to 2011. He went on to Baylor 2007, SMU 2012 to 2014, Kansas 2016, Oregon State 2017, and Utah State 2019 to 2020 before joining Colorado coach Deion Sanders at Jackson State for the 2021 campaign. During his time coaching at Houston, Phillips produced seven 1,000-yard receiving seasons from four different players, including Dante Avery, the first wide receiver taken in the 2008 
NFL Draft. The 2011 Cougars offense, led by quarterback Case Keenum, whom Phillips helped to numerous NCAA records, was one of the most prolific in NCAA history, averaging nearly 600 yards per game, second all time. Now imagine that. Shador went for over 500 yards at TCU to open up the season. Imagine 600 yards per game. Per game, like every game, 600 yards. That's crazy. We had so many guys that played so well for him throughout that time, and he coached them hard. He challenged them every day at practice, said Keenum, who just wrapped up his 11th season in the NFL. He's one of the best wide receivers coaches I've ever been around. I love Coach Phillips. We got a good one over here. This is sounding like we got a good one. We got one, guys. Add White to the long list of wide receivers who have played well for Phillips. White caught a career-high 94 passes for 1,265 yards and eight touchdowns during Phillips' first season with the Tiger Cats in 2022. The back-to-back -back CFL All-Star was the league's leading receiver this past season, catching 75 passes for 1,269 yards and eight scores. For a wide receiver who had never reached the 1,000 yard mark before, White made it look easy in each of his last two seasons with Phillips' guidance. He's about his business, White said. Every time we stepped on the field, there was an expectation to have a high level of practice and a high level of playing. He held us to a high standard and that's something as a player that you look forward to. Taking over at Colorado's receivers coach for Brett Bartoloni, now Colorado's tight ends coach, Phillips will have one of the nation's most talented receiving corps to bring the best out of. His experience, both as a player and coach and his ability to relate to his players on a personal level makes him a match made in heaven for the buff stable of pass catchers yo our wide receivers room is probably going to be one of the best in the nation not just in the big 12 but in the nation and now we got a coach like coach phillips i can't imagine what it's going to look like man in 2024 and then shador having that old line that's going to be blocking for him and those guys get open sheesh talk about 5,000 yard season you heard it here first he played with coach prime with the falcons from 1991 to 1993 so he was able to speak to me from the level of you need to be the absolute best in your craft and you need to have the utmost confidence in yourself and the ability that God gave you, White said. He was able to talk to you in a different manner in which you can relate to if you were trying to chase greatness or chasing to be the best that you can be. This sounds quite eerie like Coach Prime. The level of excellence, the level of details, trying to strive for the best that you can be. No matter what day, no matter what time, no matter who's in front of you, you got to make sure that you're confident in your ability to do your job. And then have Having somebody as a motivator like coach Jason Phillips, I mean, it's like icing on the cake. You look at the way that we played in our first year. This is what teams are afraid of. They understand that when coach Prime gets the people that he wants in-house and he's able to put the type of product that he really likes on the field and then instill that type of motivation in them, there's no stopping them. And we saw flashes of greatness in Shador, his accuracy, his ability to pass that ball. Now imagine coach Phillips teaching those wide receivers taking them from the level that we were in 2023 and taking them to a whole nother level. It's like Coach Prime 2.0 all over again. You guys know how hard I am on Shador because I believe in this kid. I believe this kid is going to be one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever do it. He's such a gentleman and a leader. He's a gentle leader and he believes in himself. When you listen to Shador in his press conferences, I mean, the type of confidence that he has in himself, he doesn't think anybody in front of him is going to be any better than him. In any game that he goes in, he's looking to to dominate at all times just like his dad he's always looking to dominate a coach that understands what the quarterback is able to do the quarterback's best mechanics and then what he lacks and making sure that those wide receivers get open teaching his wide receivers to understand the quarterback your quarterback only has two to three seconds like i said in in the last video if you watch the national title game where michigan was giving washington that business michael Penix had to get the ball out within two seconds and i counted it i went into that game counting the seconds that the quarterback had to be able to get the ball out and it was two seconds and it was still getting at him he already coached some big 12 teams so he already understands their level of play and then the quarterbacks are not as accurate in the big 12 as Shador is these wide receivers are about to have a great season and they're going to be getting protected by the 
these guys right here. These guys are taking their job seriously. You got Jordan Seaton. You got Justin Myers. There's so many guys that are in here that understand what the assignment is. Just like I said in the last video, these guys are coming in here with bad intentions. These guys who have one more year left, they are coming here understanding that this is their chance to make it to the NFL. Coach Prime has connections to the NFL. He has coaches that are connected to the NFL and to the CFL because it's obviously not just the NFL, the CFL as well. If you don't make it into the NFL, you can go play in the Canadian Football League. So you got the connections are already there. So if these guys ball out this season, they are just bolstering, first of all, their tape for the NFL or the CFL. I'm declaring right now, guys, for all of you fans out there that miss Colorado football, you just saw the greatness in the first three games. You just knew what we had, the talent, the level of talent that we had in that locker room. This is going to be the year that we finally see it. This is going to be the year that we finally see how fun Colorado football is going to be. Jimmy Horn looking all swole over there. He looking like he put on some pounds. He put on some muscle. And he's looking like he ain't about to get pushed around like he did in 2023. When he catches the ball, it's about to be a problem. Man, I'm excited. I'm telling you, it's going to be fun to watch Colorado football. Coach Prime told you guys, this is the worst that you're going to see me. Get me now while you can. So it looks and it seems like he is surrounding himself with like-minded coaches who are ready to take it to that next level. He's taking his time to get his DC in the house. He's already got his wide receivers coach who thinks and acts just like he does and they come from the same school of thought. Buckle up for Colorado football in that Big 12. It's looking like we about to take the Big 12 because the Big 12 is wide open. I'm going to leave it right there but I'm going to let you know now. Just buckle up. This is about to be a fun season for Colorado football. Okay.